Dear colleagues, Ministry of Defense spokesperson Mr. Vlen Pilgorny will speak on Russia's military aggression in eastern Ukraine. Mr. Pilgorny, the floor is yours. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let me give you a weekly update on Russia's aggression against Ukraine between April 10th and 16th. The overall combat situation at the front line remains rather tense. Despite the new Easter time agreement on ceasefire, the enemy continued shelling positions of Ukrainian defenders with heavy weapons. Compared to the preceding week, enemy combat activity remained at the same level, while the share of heavy weapons use increased by 44%. The number of ceasefire violations ranged between 22 and 65. Luhansk sector. Combat situation in the sector slightly deteriorated throughout the last week. There were nine incidents of enemy mortar fire compared to two mortar attacks during the preceding week. Militants opened fire with small arms and grenade launchers at positions of Ukrainian armed forces predominantly in Stanitsa Luhanska, Krymske and Popasna area. The daily amount of ceasefire violations by the enemy ranged between 2 and 7. Now, as far as Donet sector is concerned, last week militants used mortars multiple times on a daily basis. The tensest situation was registered in Avdiivka area. On April 13th and 14th, the pro Russian militants opened complex fired positions of Ukrainian armed forces, having discharged more than 25 mortar rounds each time. On weekends, Russian proxies reduced its fire activity, and as a result, there were no incidents of enemy mortar fire um, throughout the week. The daily fire activity of the enemy ranged between 6 and 27 ceasefire violations. Mariupol sector. Last week, militants actively opened fire with small arms, grenade launchers, mortars, and artillery, both in the northern and southern parts of the sector. On April 10th, in violation of all reached agreements, the militants opened fire with 122mm artillery at Novotroitske and Vodyane. On April 13th, militants used 122mm artillery in Vodyane once again. Throughout the whole week, Russian proxies actively opened fire with weapons mounted on infantry fighting vehicles against positions of Ukrainian armed forces. On April 11th, enemy sniper groups actively engaged Ukrainian defenders in Novotroetske, Krasnogorivka, and Marienka, and on April 13th, on southern defense lines. The daily amounts of ceasefire violations by the enemy ranged between 13 and 43. Over the week, Ukrainian troops registered eight episodes of hostile drones conducting uh, aerial reconnaissance. All episodes took place in the Donetsk sector. Ukraine's military intelligence reports of the ongoing military assistance of Moscow to its proxies in eastern Ukraine. Last week, three cargo trains with 1,080 tons of fuel arrived in Luhansk and Rovinki railway stations. Also, a Russian military convoy consisting of a bus with military personnel, as well as 16 infantry fighting vehicles transported on trailer trucks, arrived in Uspenka. As per intelligence reports, the total number of last week's casualties amongst Russian proxies is 12 killed and 24 wounded. One Ukrainian serviceman was killed in action and 20 Ukrainian servicemen were wounded in action last week. Our hearts go out to the family and friends of the fallen Ukrainian hero. One civilian man was wounded in the war zone last week. The incident took place in Marinka. 
Eight residential buildings were damaged in Verkhnyatoretsky and Avdiivka in the Donetsk sector, Marienka and Novotroetsky in the Mariupol sector due to the enemy fire. Russian proxies shelled and ruined three non-residential buildings in Novoluhansk, Avdiivka and Marienka. In addition, a section of railway track between Shipilove and Sintyanivka stations in Luhansk sector were damaged by the enemy fire. Ukrainian authorities arranged for access and safe passage of 23 trucks with humanitarian aid for civilians living in the occupied territories in eastern Ukraine. The aid was provided by the International Committee of the Red Cross as well as by the UN High Commissioner for Refugees Representative in Ukraine. The trucks carried approximately 370 tons of food, construction materials and personal hygiene products. That will be all for today. Thank you.